So hello. So uh, <coughs> I would like to talk about the tension that I have been getting a lot of confusion while solving this tension uh, problem. So, so, so what is the actual concept of tension? Uh, first, I will describe with uh, one uh, one condition. When, when the, uh, just imagine uh, when the velocity is zero and it is uh, pulled by one string up and uh, and uh, so here is uh, suppose one uh, string, you know, so it is hanging up here and this is a mass and. And in, uh, so you know Newton's thought law. So in Newton's thought law, what is there? You know, so one object has equal and opposite reaction. So this have mg and this have opposite reaction. Okay, so this is R. These are of equal and opposite reaction. So likewise, so how do we calculate the tension of this condition when the velocity when the velocity is zero? So as we know that f net, f net equals to m. Means this is a uh, uh, net force. Uh, this is a net force. So net force is always equals to mass times acceleration. Do not uh, get confused in this equation. Okay, in this condition. So always for a net force is equal to uh, mass times acceleration. And then after uh, uh, tension is just m g. So this. So this uh, minus this is the F net force, and here we have velocity. Uh, sorry, acceleration is zero. So uh, like we have velocity zero, it will automatically uh, we can say the acceleration is zero, and so T equals to m g. So when the velocity is zero, the tension will always equal to its uh, uh, weight. It's equal to uh, uh, so. Uh, we had studied that weight is uh, equals to mass times acceleration due to gravity. So this is the first condition of um, tension. So I'll just uh, uh, I'll just copy this over here. So uh, uh, we have this um, just a condition. Or so let's say mg. So this is our one condition. Another condition is. Uh, uh, this M and uh, MZ of and here we have uh, tension. Okay, uh, sorry, tension. So here we have uh, T times and we act, there is acceleration. So in this condition. The same method as we uh, stated here, it also F net equals to MA. So, what is the uh, net force? Net force we have tension minus MZ, we have MA, MA given. Acceleration is not zero here, here is some acceleration. So, we can directly state that. Tension equals to mass times acceleration. This is another cases. Okay, we have one case, we have two cases. So in third case, uh, we have like uh, mass tension uh, mz tension, but the acceleration is downward. It is not upward. It is just downward. You know, so when the acceleration is upward and when it is downward, you have to uh, assume it as a retardation. Like you can uh, say here, like uh, F net, F net equals to m a, and this is negative m a, t minus m z, and this is uh, so, uh, so this, this is negative m a, okay? This m a, and you, and you can say that at, uh, what to do. M A minus M Z equals to tension. So this is the another condition. So there are three condition in uh, three cases in tension. So when the velocity is zero and it is just hanging, and and when you have uh, in that condition the tension is equal to its weight. So there is no uh, an other force acting on it. So um, 
So in the second case, when the acceleration is acting upward, like you can even uh, imagine about parachute when you are falling uh, from up, it will uh, uh, air resistance will uh, push you up. You know that is the example of uh, this uh, second condition. So so when acceleration is acting upward, uh, you, uh, the, you just have to uh, the calculation is t equals to m plus m g. So this is the a way of calculating tension. Another is when acceleration is acting downward. So when it is acting downward, the acceleration is tension is m minus m g. So if you uh, if you don't know how to calculate tension, then just remember this formula F net equals to m. So by this formula, uh, F net is t minus m g equals to m. This is the simplest method to calculate tension. Okay, it's the simplest method to can calculate tension that you have to know it. F for net force is equals to acceleration. Alright.